Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a while since I've done an elevator video. <laughs> well, anyway, this has to be the crown jewel so far here in March 2015. I hope you all enjoy it, and here we go. So you see that the, the wooden, yeah. And we still have some uh, original pieces that are, have not been used, so. Look at that. I should do it more, but I do it at least once a year, but it's probably three or four times a year. Uh, I get on the car and uh, I get my bucket of grease and I grease around. So, oh, as I said, my entire life I've been in the elevator. They used to have uh, a hand lever. Is it still manually controlled though, like where you hit it? Uh, those quit working before I remember. You did? But this we have the outside controls to call it here. Before here. They made us put those in. And then the car used to be the. Uh, We finally did the cables the way you see the cables done there because they would make us yearly, not yearly, but however many, well yearly they would make us have to reshackle because they used to be, um, they would come down, loop around and be socketed in with the with lead into the bottom because it would move they figured that we had a big change in here which is a big expense if we did it this way we don't have to do it for probably 20 years or 30 years is this the it, no no that's the original uh, that's the, the fire door so every night when we leave and in the winter time the doors are always closed it rolls up in there. Is there a way to Sounds like somebody's using it. Sounds like somebody's using it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow! So they made us, um, they made us put the things on so nobody can stick their hands out through the car. <laughs> oh yeah, dude! Oh. So I gotta go down, I gotta go down first. Oh, thank you. Uh, so that's where we did the... Uh, so you have to push and hold it to get... Have to push and hold. So that's the, the bell in case somebody gets stuck. Right next to my ear. <laughs> which, is just, which is just, well... Has anybody ever gotten stuck? No. Well, if we have... That was the smoothest start I've ever uh, taken. These wooden rails are amazing. Yeah. Well, it is. The building is. Um, uh, that's five. That's, the building is 106 years old. So this car is 106 years old. The rails are 106 years old. I should be filming you. Can we picture you on it? Yeah, we will. Cable. I'm not going to touch the cable. Look at this thing! This is the first wooden railer I've ever ridden on. I should get out of there in case somebody decides to move it. <clears throat> so I was clearly excited about this. I mean, a manually controlled elevator with wooden guide rails? Oh my god. Gosh, that was so cool. But wait, <laughs> there's more. Uh, probably seven, six or seven years ago. So if the elevator falls, this thing spins around, these come out from centrifugal force and knock this thing, which locks it, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, hence the saying when I learned from the History Channel, balls out, <laughs> because the balls will go out and you're in trouble if they do. So. And that's where that saying came from. Yeah. Oh, so it came from an elevator governor. Nice. I think. 
I don't know if it's there. Um, I do have I said I did keep it. Cool, right? That was the original governor. Well, what he was looking for was the original handle. We didn't really get to see it this time. But, oh, trust me, we're thinking of coming back, and he'll probably show us then. Anyway, here's more. came in for the inspection, and I said, well, I'll run down there, and I'll just clean it out, because I've done it all my life. Well, now you know, that's pretty dangerous, and you need to be a certified elevator workman to do it, and I said, okay. Oh, there's the bottom of the governor right there. Mm -hmm. Is that is that the original bottom or is that, that all replaced? That is the original bottom. All that mechanical. The only thing that's new on that is the cable. <clears throat> oh, okay. And this is the original top part here, yeah. right? The motor is amazing. So the car <laughs> is original. Uh, Bye -bye. All of the cables have been changed. Turn this one and leave that on. Um, and if, I don't know if you can see the plate right Here's there. Right. No, the original. That's the original. Uh, right there is the original main plate. Oh, yeah. So I don't know if you have a light that you can see that. Uh, here, can I see your phone for a second? You want the flashlight? Yeah, just the flashlight. Yeah, Get that on camera. It's an Otis! Wow, people on YouTube are going to love this. <laughs> this is the original man, isn't it? Yeah. And if you notice there, the capacity 30. was originally 4,000 pounds. Look, you put a horse on there. They downgraded it to 2,000 pounds. But the other elevator inspector that we got to know really well said the only reason it's not the car, 15, it's not 20, the cable, it's not the rails, it's the motor. 30. Because the motor has got to an age where they felt that it wasn't strong enough to lift. So if you have something that's over the capacity that we say it is now, try and go up first. Because if the motor won't take it up, then the motor is not going to take it down. Yeah. Huh. So I have had up to 3,000 pounds in this car. Here, will you film me uh, hit the button? And this here, our elevator number uh, is 915. So according to the inspectors, <coughs> that means that this was the 915th elevator put into operation in Portland. Hmm. Wait, 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 let me get you signed. Oh, I got that. I got that. On. Oh, did you get yeah, that? Okay. So that's what the elevator number is. So if you go up, you can go all the way to the third floor, but... Um, when are you guys film me doing that? I'll look but, to the third floor? But all you have to when I say stop, you got to stop right as we go too far. Alright, ready? Yeah. Here we go. There's two. Oh, basement one. Oh, basement one. Here's two, right? Yeah. And there's three way up there. Oh, look at the old brick. Yeah. Stop at three. And then you have to stop short of three. And okay, release. So we're a little bit short. That's good. I'll leave it there. So that is what I'm saying. Oh, if I go down here, down to. That's what they made us put in everywhere. Oh, we have a mesh. Okay, my stuff. So little kids can crawl around. Don't parents watch their kids? Well, there's going to be no little kids in the building that would be unattended. <laughs> ever. I mean, we weren't really unattended when we were kids, but it was amazing. So there, the this hole here was where the original handle was. And somewhere on my keychain, I don't know if that still works, but uh, to shut the elevator off a little special key, but then this other one, the big red button also turns it on and off. Um, on the car. And you still had the... Um, uh, yeah, animals. Animals, I don't know where. It's in this building. It's somewhere in this building. That is cool. And I know uh, that's where you're going to display too, because I just going to screw a pipe into it and probably put it next to the governor. Nice. Uh, 
but these were, if I can see. That motor is epic. I love that. Where is the holes? They're there. So the holes there, that's what held the arm, which would be activated by the elevator to raise and lower the gates <laughs> as it went up. So as you came to a floor, the gate would raise and then lower as you passed it. Because <laughs> there would be a big arch on the top and the bottom to catch a great big wheel that would move back and forth. Oh, I wish we could have seen that. So oh. that was all when I was a kid. How tragic. And we all survived. So for those of you in YouTube who don't believe me, these rails are far wood. The thing about them, though, is they look metal because they're greased. But these are these are wooden wooden guide rails, and I've, I have never seen that on an elevator in person. Uh, let me go and show you real quick. What is, what was here? That's the sump. The sump That's pump. just a sump that goes to the sewer. Sump so pump. that would, I would know if I was down here, I would hear Battery check. Out. This block of wood right here that I'm standing next to, which is actually almost as tall as I am. This is the wood that the elevator's guide rail is made out of. So is that one. It's so it's original. Got a heavy bump to it. They're solid, and they don't make wood like that anymore, as far as I know. They don't make they don't make guide rails like this anymore. Nope. They're all made out of steel now. Well, a lot of the a lot of the wood currently is all fast growth timber, mm -hmm. has a different consistency. Yeah, yeah as, a, as all the wood in this building, they would just. Well, <laughs> Grandma got a video of uh, the. Uh, you know, a tour of the building, but uh, this video was mostly just about the elevator. But uh, it's interesting what he had to say about the wood in the building. Anyways, this is going to have to be our last ride coming up. Hope you've enjoyed it so far. Or, that one, here we go. That's first floor. Main floor. They were old, called old burning machines, and they were about as big as this whole elevator. Ah, uh, okay. just, just, I don't know. Yeah. Be a little bit more practice leveling. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. Um, November 617 Alpha will continue to get elevator videos. Oh, and as I'm sure most of you have noticed, uh, we're also tampering with uh, a little bit of HD here, trying to make our videos more clear. But, anyways, I hope you have enjoyed it. It was an absolutely beautiful elevator. Thanks for watching.